Hello and welcome to early December on Vlaishish. Looks like we're in for a bit of snow, so let's have a quick look at the weather forecast. Uh, where is it now? There we go, we just missed it. Yeah. So by nine o'clock we should be snowing. So we might have a, a fairly curtailed day of activity today, but the first thing we need to do is we need to most probably spray for weeds before it gets too bad on the field. Let's just go and check our fields quickly. I think the weeds will be up. Let's just get those interactive markers off. There we go. Yeah, the, the weeds are nice and high now. <laughs> Perfect for spraying off. Right, of course, our sprayer is not set up for... for... precision farming. So it doesn't have any sensors on it. Um, where is it? I think, oh, I think it's actually in the end one, isn't it? Yeah, so it's not set up for that, so we're going to pop on down to the store and go and get that traded in for one with sensors in. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but it's not going to be too bad. So let's just drop off the, the front weight. We just drop it off around the side here for now. There we go. And then we might as well just hook up everything now, get it all sorted out, and we can load it up with uh, some herbicide while we're down there. So that's the extra tank. And then we'll put the sprayer part on the back. We should probably won't be able to do all the job with one. Or we might be because we're doing precision farming. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it saves quite a bit on the the herbicide use, usage. There we go. So we'll, we're going to sell this back part there. We should get... I'd say it's probably 70% back on the price of a new a new sprayer, but the sprayer will have the sensors on, so that's fair enough, I think. Just open up the gate. And then we'll head on down to the store, and we'll catch you when we're there. See you in a while. Right, so here we are at the store. I'm just going to go and drop off the sprayer. It's pretty much brand new, so we will get quite a bit back for it. And we'll just go and have a look. And Oops, we got stuck there. Should have got outside the, got, got out the other door. <laughs> Right, so let's go and have a chat and see what we can get. So let's have a look at our sprayer, see how much we can get on the trade-in. So 27,000 is what we'll get back for it. So let's do that deal. Right, that takes 1,500 litres. Right, so now we need to go and have a look for the exact same model, but that is now got the sensors on, and that is 34,500. So it's cost us a little bit. Um, what did we get? 27,000. So three, it's cost us 7,000 to have the well, basically, we've lost the the 
the new premium really because they actually cost the same amount there but we will just say that that is the cost of actually putting on the extra sprayers right so let's get that bought uh weed spraying spot spraying yes we do want that oh you see that jumps up now substantially but we need to get it we need to get it there we go so no yeah so it actually doubles the price so we've yeah it's costing us a lot but we do need it it's going to benefit us in the long run so we're going to buy that I thought it was too good to be true that it was the same price with the <laughs> but it's the right thing to do all right so I think we've bought that uh, of course we need to get some herbicide some liquid herbicide and that's going to be in ICBs and herbicide 2400 I think is 2000 liters I forgot to check to see how much that um, what the capacity of that is so we need to know how much to buy so we've got 1500 liters in the, in the ex auxiliary tank and this one takes 2000 at least 1200 1200 2700 so we need to buy 3000 liters of herbicide at least herbicide 2000 liters so, uh, 3,000, I think we'll just buy, let's just buy one, just see what, um, whether that actually does the whole job, yeah, let's try that, because we will have left over if we buy another one, but, um, Right, let's go and hook up. We should be just around the corner here. And then to hook up and load up. Right, so let's refill the sprayer. Reverse a bit more. Refill the additional tank. So we've got two, so we've got seventy-four percent full. So we're going to be able to do quite a bit on that. I feel. In any case, we will scoot on up back to the top field, and we'll catch you when we're there. Right, so here we are at the top field, and we'll get started on that. What was the width of the, the spraying width of this? We'll see soon enough. We shall see. So let's get that unfolded. I'm probably going to have to pull back a bit just to get the full picture. Yeah, so we've got a decent width on that. Right. Let's get going. We've got 
Okay, see, it's doing its job as we go through there. And it, with the with this pre precision farming, it is actually being selective in what it's spraying. So the sensors pick up the the weeds and only spray the weed itself and that of course cuts down the usage of herbicides substantially which means we are putting less chemicals into the environment we're also being kinder on the soil so it's kind of a win-win situation and of course the herbicide is fairly expensive so we're saving quite a bit of money on that but we'll do the rest of this on a time lapse and we'll catch you once it's done Right, you're back with me and we just about finished this top field and you can see at this point in time we've only used just over a hundred liters of herbicide to do this field so good decision not to buy the, the second um, IBC of herbicide just saves us a little bit of money after the huge expansion of the upgrade of the sprayer But my feeling is we would definitely have gone through very close to an IBC just doing this one field. So I mean, it'll take quite a few sprayings to uh, <laughs> to um, to recoup the expense. But of course, we also will get a better yield for doing this type of spraying. On our, we'll get a yield bonus so that's all very good as well so we'll turn that off we'll fold that up and we'll move on to the next field yeah so what is that 170 169 liters to do this field we may have missed one or two but we haven't missed much and we'll go up to the bottom field or field two whichever way you want to call call it or look at it and we'll spray that off hopefully the weeds are mature enough to be sprayed off otherwise it's probably going to have to wait for after winter we'll see it should we should be able to use herbicide at any level on on the weeds may not just be as easy to spot where we've gone when we um, where we've been when we are spraying in any case we'll see you once we get to the bottom field right here we are at the bottom field or field two and yeah we should be able to spray these off and won't be as easy to see it but I think we'll be able to see it fairly easy where we've been Let's get that uh, unfolded and I'm pretty confident that it shouldn't take more than about the same amount of fertilizer, maybe a little bit more. Right, and we can turn that on and let's get going. Yeah, that's working perfectly. 
taking the weeds out and we'll be set fair to do some fertilizing let's just have a quick look are we fully fertilized we might be fully fertilized because we're using precision farming yeah we we are fully fertilized in the event we'll get back in there and we'll continue and we'll do the rest of this on a time lapse and we'll get to you once we're finished back with me and we are pretty close to finishing off this bottom field we are still not used 300 liters of uh, herbicide on the two fields so yeah pretty good really cannot complain I think we've got Possibly we should be able to finish this off on this pass. It's getting a little bit difficult to see exactly where where the weeds are, but I think I've pretty much got them all. Kind of actually been working off where I can see the dead, the darker dead weeds seem to be easier to see. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. So we've uh, we had two thousand. We bought two thousand liters worth of herbicide, and we've used two hundred and fifty liters. So yeah, fifty liters or well, forty-eight li uh, forty-two liters takes us to eight hundred. Yeah, so less than 250 litres to do birth fields. Now that's not bad. Right, so let's get this back to the farmyard. And then I think the only thing that we really can do for, the, for this month is to see if there's any eggs and milk to be delivered. I suspect January and February it's not going to be much to do except delivering milk and eggs but we'll see how that goes. So we'll just head on back to the farm go and see what we've got there to deliver, make the deliveries and then we'll be done for December and we can go into have a bit of a Christmas holiday, a Christmas break. We'll see you when we get there. Right, that's everything dropped off and we can park up the tractor. Right, close that up. We'll open this one up and get the toss out. Are we looking? Fuel and yeah, everything's okay there. Nothing needs to be done just yet. So Let's have a look and see how our animals are doing. First of all, we are there. There they are. So the ducklings, the ducks. So I suppose we could put a bit more food in there. There's five thousand liters in there, but we could top that, top up the food sometime today. Uh, 
any male ducks that's the rooster chicken female duck female they are all good duck males that's the daddy male chicken female duck female chicken female duck female chicken female duckling male duckling male we'll have to sell those oh, we can't do it from here but in any case chicken male cows we've got 4,000 liters 5,000 liters so it's worthwhile making delivery eggs maybe not so much let's go sort out the ducks quickly we'll get a load of food put in we've got plenty of food at the moment so this probably won't deliver eggs today because that's not really full we'll just deliver some milk let's just get the big trailer hooked up i don't think we'll need need to fill the trailer up but we know we won't need to fill the trailer up so we'll just have a quick guesstimate I can't remember exactly how much it took. 15,000 15, litres. We've got about 5,000 litres, so about 10,000 litres. We can always put what we don't use back in, so. Start filling wheat. We'll put in about 10,000. There we go. Let's see if our guesstimate has been right. I think it was about 5,000 in there, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, but we have got quite a few. And we've got some male chickens to get rid of as well. So we'll just put this in and then... We'll go and arrange for the male chickens to be taken away. Oh, we were, we've got a little bit left over, so we'll just, before we forget, we'll just go and put that back into the silo. It's not a train smash, doesn't cost us a lot of money. There we go, and pop the trade up. Ooh, the heater in the class is much better than it is in the vent. Much toastier in there. Right, so where are we now? So that's proper. That's a uh, duckling female. You will certainly keep that. The one rooster male, chicken females, duck females will keep. Duck male, that's just the one. Uh, chicken female, yeah, duck female, chicken female, duck female, chicken female, <laughs> duckling male. So let's, yes, we need to, and 26 of those, we'll get those sold. So, yes, okay. Chicken female, chicken male. Male ch chicken, chicken chick male. <laughs> oh dear. So we'll select that. 22 of those. We'll get those sold. And duckling female. So everything should be female in there, except for the rooster and the drake. And yeah, that's all that sorted. So chickens are up to date. Food 15,000 litres. Excellent. Uh, right, so we're going to go and pick up. Let me just quickly look and see how much 
Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for next month and get those soldiers. We should have close to a full pallet next month. So we'll go and pick up the milk and go and get that sold. I suppose we can start thinking about getting ourselves a little dairy up here. Let's have a look and see how much it will cost us. And that's the bakery. Well, I think it's going to cost us too much at this point in time. What we can do is uh, ask around during the winter months and possibly. So you've got you get some, some small breakeries. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe we should consider consider getting a small dairy. Let me make some phone calls and I'll get back to you. Right, I've just come back from making a phone call and some good news. There is a containerized dairy. It's a small dairy operation that's specifically made for for farmyards or for farms, should I say? And it's just a question of can we find a place to put it up? That won't be in the way. Thinking maybe somewhere at the back here, somewhere. Somewhere around here, maybe facing on the back of the, the silage clamp. So let's have a look at it quickly and see where we can fit it in. So it'll be under factories, I think. Small bakery, there it is. There, so what's the difference between those 30,000? I think we could, we just need to at this stage put the small one in, we can upgrade it. It's probably just a different production cycle. So let's, uh, let's just put on our markers so that we know where everything gets delivered. And where we, there we go. Interactive zone markers, we'll put those on. We'll get ourselves out of the way. We stand here. And productions. It's the same size, just probably produces bigger and quicker. Now, do we? Spend 30,000. I think we just spend the 10,000 for now. Right, so we really need to deliver on that side and pick up in the front. Um, Hmm. Quite interesting uh, as to how we're going to do this. 
can we fit it in here somewhere? And it'll make delivery awkward. Delivery is still going to be awkward there because we have to keep reversing in. Whoa! Why is this creating such a problem? So we don't need a lot of space to, but that we need space to turn there. weird how this just seems to not exactly fit in with what we want to do. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, we could just put it... We, we don't, definitely don't want it there. There's going to be too much going on there. I think, I think we put it like that close to there and we just reverse in to make the deliveries I think that's the way to do it there we go right let's go and see what we've got here. Yeah. So we'll just make the deliveries here. Is it open? Uh, it's not too much of a problem. We can just go there. We should be able to. We can just reverse in. I mean, it's, it's not a major issue, is it? Okay. Uh, Let's just check to see. So we can I think we can do the full scale of so we can do butter cheese milk. We can do raw milk which sells automatically. So I think that's what we're gonna start with. So basically we'll just be selling milk. I wonder what price you get for it though. Yeah, well. So milk is one in, one out, so. So let's just see what happens. Does that automatically sell if we don't activate something let's have a look and see what we get well, hang on what we need to do is we need to have a look and see on here if we've got raw milk sales no milk farm dairy so it's buying So it's quite, yeah, I'm just not quite sure <laughs> how that works now. So let's have a look and see what happens. We're going to just put this milk that we get today in and see if it sells. And just keep that on for now. Keep the interactive markers on for now just to... Start filling. How much have we got? 5,200. That's nice. So 
So if we don't activate any of the manufacturing cheese and such like, does it automatically sell? Which is quite nice because we've actually got a sale point right on the farm. So yeah, it's not automatically selling, but it probably will sell over time. So let's just jump out and go and have a look. So we've got milk. So if you just, I, I would think that, yeah. So that would sell, so if we didn't activate anything, it would eventually sell the milk. But I think what we're going to do is we are going to, um, what is the pricing? I think we're just going to make cheese. I don't think we're going to make butter. Um, let's just see, cheese sales, how much is cheese? Butter. Restaurant and bakery two seven ish cheese five thousand at the restaurant. So we'll make cheese. And we don't have sugar yet, so we're not going to produce chocolate. So we'll activate that and then we'll let the raw milk sales also just take effect and we'll see what happens. Well there we go, that's a bit of a development. I think just before we go, we're going to put in some small tracks. Let's just go and park this up. Get the uh, interactive zone markers off. Just to tidy up the map as such. I do tend to leave the controls on. It's just a reminder, I find it easier. So tell me where to park my trailer. There we go. And we'll unhook that. I think we'll go and put that away and then we'll put in some access to the to our little dairy now, a couple of tracks, and then that's where we'll call it a day. Set everything up, snow's coming in, it's probably going to settle quite soon. And yeah, so we'll just put some tracks in there so that we can. So that's probably going to go there. So um, where are we going there? And it's animal mud, concrete, 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 dirt, gravel, gravel, gravel. Let's use the scribble, I think. Right, you're back with me. Kind of just made a couple of little tracks into into her. We should get rid of those ferns, but we can just drive over them, I think. We might enlarge that as we go along, but yeah. 
any case, that's where we're going to... Oh, we just need to, before we do anything else, before we go there, we need to just check to see how the food is for the cows. It should be okay. They've still got 20,000 litres, 21,000 litres of, of hay. They... They are doing fairly well. So we've got three, four, six, seven, nine. Why have we got nine cars? Five and four. That's just weird. Have we rustled a car from somewhere? I thought we had four and then bought another four. Or did we buy five? So that is a new one. 60%. That's new lot. That's hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. So maybe we had five, and then we bought another four. That's where I'm going to look at it. They're all producing straw. We've got slurry. We need to sort out at some time. So that's that good. So I think that's where we're going to end it for this month. We will see you in January, and we will go off and have ourselves a little festive break and as I said we'll see you in have we got anything in here? Uh, need to get ourselves a vehicle somewhere along the line maybe for Christmas I doubt it in any case <laughs> uh, I digress thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio